I didn't have enough coffee for this. <clears throat> oh, you want me to just read from here? Oh, I can absolutely do that. Yeah. Uh, hi everyone, James Strong. I'm one of the uh, core maintainers for Ingress Nginx, our favorite Ingress controller. Um, we are embarking on a fun journey this year of trying to look to replace Lua with JavaScript. So if you have any networking experience and JavaScript development, please come and talk to me because we have a lot of functionality and we're gonna talk more about that in our project. Also, non-code contributions. We need examples from all of the cloud providers. We need examples on how to do weird, crazy things with networking. So if you do crazy things with Ingress, please come talk to me and we can do documentation. Thank you. Awesome, thanks so much. Uh, the next respondent we have, uh, Jing Yang, are you here? Oh, okay, great. We need some walk-up music. <laughs> Two names, uh, let me see. Oh, Jan? Yeah. Hi, I'm Xing from Six Storage. Uh, we have some very exciting projects that need help. So let me highlight a few. Uh, the first one is a cozy container object storage interface, trying to make object storage the first class citizen in Kubernetes. Why is that important? You may know that object storage has been a popular choice in AI machine learning. The feature is alpha. We are trying to move it to beta. So come join us if you want to be part of it. And the next project I want to highlight is Warden Group Snapshot. It allows you to create a snapshot of multiple volumes at the same point in time, which is uh, a big deal in terms of efficiency. So come talk to me or Yang if you are interested in contributing to Six Storage. Thanks. Oh, and I want to promote our weekly uh, issue triage meeting. Uh, which happens every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we, go, we often go through our uh, bugs, but we don't have enough contributors to fix all of them. So we, know we have a huge pile of bugs. We are looking for people from any, with any expertise. We just need Golang, Golang and basic Kubernetes, and we can find a bug for you, maybe even a feature. Thanks. All right, thanks so much. I see you all filling in the forms now. Thank you with a lot of TBD. Um, I'm gonna find you afterward and we're gonna make sure that we get all of these links in here because that's very important. So uh, next up, uh, Patrick Oli, are you here? Yeah, okay, and then after that on deck we have uh, Ben Elder. So um, I, I put in one thing. I'm. SIG testing tech lead. I done, I've done quite a bit of work on the end-to-end -end testing. And at some point I realized that we are doing frameworks for end-to-end -end testing with Gingo, and we do the same thing for Go tests with integration tests. And the only reason is that we do that because both have different APIs to say, for example, report a failure. And I started thinking, can we unify that? Can we have a common API for, I'm a test, I need to report something, and we can. I came up with something that's now in Kubernetes, core Kubernetes in test utils K testing. And I'm looking for other contributors who are interested in exploring how to move that forward and whether it's useful, whether we can get rid of redundant code in Kubernetes, which is hurting us when everyone writes tests, they always need to learn new things, how to do things differently. I think we can make it simpler, but I need people to bounce off the ideas, get them to help write perhaps some code, get it changed in Kubernetes if we come up with something useful. So find me if you're interested. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Puerco, you're on deck. Hi, uh, I'm actually kind of doing this by proxy for Michelle Shepardson, uh, MRI in Slack. 
Um, we're continuing test grid UI development under Kubernetes. If you're not familiar with it, test grid, testgrid.kates.io, shows your tests in a grid with fast, flexible, interactive front end. Last year, we started writing a new UI to replace the existing closed source one, but it's currently an MVP and needs more work to complete it, make it performant and feature complete. If you've got experience in front end or you're willing to learn, hit us up on SIG testing on Slack or Kubernetes SIG slash test grid on GitHub. Thanks. Thank you. Um, John Bellamaric, Bellamar sorry. Hey, um, so I'm here on behalf of SIG release, but also on behalf of a little bit of SIG security. Uh, we are starting to do our redesign and modernization of the Kubernetes security feed. And over the past, I don't know, one or two years, we've been putting out some tools and information, some security metadata on the Kubernetes releases. And we are now about to start dog fooding that information into our own projects. So the new security feed uh, is going to be redesigned from the point that the product security response committee, like the security response committee, takes uh, generates that information all the way to the releases. And we plan to do that, the binding thread of all the security information that we put out. So if you have experience in security, building CLIs, uh, even if your SIG uh, wants to get involved uh, in that information, please hit me, Puerco, or BJ from SIG Security. Uh, where this is a cross-SIG uh, cross effort, and uh, you're going to see the caps going up uh, really soon. Thanks. Hello, uh, John from SIG Architecture, and um, you may know me from production readiness reviews, and I am here to ask for more help. Uh, we did promote uh, one uh, person to an approver, uh, Joe, I don't know if he's here today, but um, we could use more shadows, more approvers. We have a handful of shadows who help out, and we have a sort of ladder you can climb to, to help spread the load and um, make those go faster for everybody. And I also have one other thing for, um, Patrick was up here, but uh, he and Kevin and others have been working on dynamic resource allocation. We will have uh, an unconference about this later, hopefully. But um, the, the point I wanted to bring up is that uh, device vendors for you know specialized hardware devices and end users of those devices, we really could use your input. Right now, a lot of our input comes from Intel and NVIDIA, um, but there's more people out there than that, and we want to make sure that we can actually uh, handle your use cases. So please come to that unconference on that later. Thank you. Thanks. Madhav, where'd you go? Madhav? Okay, cool. Hi there. Uh, my name is Mohammed. I'm one of the SIG Kate team for leads, uh, and I've got a few things. Um, so, in case you missed Ben's email last month, the default cluster is going away um, later this year. Um, we need to get rid of that as soon as possible so we can get on with the prior migration that we're planning later this year. Um, what else was there? Um, so we have a couple of services that we're trying to integrate with SSO so that it's very easy to onboard and offboard people. Um, I'm looking forward to talking to SIG Docs about Netlify and a few other services as well. Um, and the final thing I want to add to that is at last contributor summit I talked about getting rid of Kebab. I'm still working on that so uh, I need some help with that as well. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Madhav. Uh, I'm one of the tech leads for Contrabex. Apart from that, I'll also be doing a call for help for SIG architecture, but that's for later. Uh, in Contrabex, if you'd like to help out with some of the automation tooling for annual reports uh, that we had done pretty scrappily for last year, uh, reach out. Uh, that If we have two questions for the annual reports, with this tooling, you'll have one. Uh, so make the process even easier for essentially all SIGs. So uh, if that's something you'd like to help out, please reach out to me. Um, from a SIG architecture point of view, I help out with uh, uh, essentially stay, uh, keeping Kubernetes on like supported Go versions. So we do a lot of Go bumps and testing of Go versions as and when it happens. So if that's something that you're interested in, you know, diving deep into each Go release, what changes the Go project has made, working with the Go team, all of those things, if you'd like to help out, please reach out. Uh, I think there's just three people doing it right now. We can definitely use more help there. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, hi. So 
um, we already covered between John and uh, Madhav, we covered a little bit of the SIG architecture. But one thing that I do want to emphasize is like when we're talking about SIG, 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 you are in a specialized area, but there is a lot of work that goes on between all the SIGs too, right? Like we have to do API reviews, we have to do PR reviews, uh, we have to do uh, conformance tests, we have to do uh, you know, enhancements, uh, you know, taking care of the enhancements. It's like a with the SIG release team, with the release team for every uh, you know uh, for every cycle, we also have uh, some people working on enhancements uh, together with them to develop the tooling and things like that. So there is a lot more work across the SIGs where we really need help because we don't have enough people spending time above individual SIGs. So please consider coming and helping us. Like for example, Jordan is very well coming around API reviews and like he always wants people to come and spend time doing API reviews because that is gonna help everybody, right? Um, so getting to know like our deprecation policies and like how version skew works and those kinds of things are, you get affected as a SIG, but when you come and work with us, you know the nitty gritty details of like, why are we doing it? Like, why are these guys are bonkers, <laughs> right? So uh, you you will get to know more about it. So you can go, then go uh, educate the rest of the people in your SIG. So please consider coming up um, and working across uh, the various SIGs. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Ian Coldwater. I am the co-chair of Kubernetes SIG Security. So here are the asks for SIG Security. For our external art audit subproject, there is another external third-party security audit coming up this year. And this year we are working on changing up the scope. So if you have anything that is external to the core Kubernetes project, outside of KK, such as, for example, Kubernetes SIGs slash cluster API that you want included in the scope for the external security audit, please let us know because now is the time for you to get your thing included. For tooling subproject, we have two shadow roles that are being announced soon. If you are interested in getting more involved in tooling as a shadow, come to the next SIG security tooling meeting, which is Monday the 25th at 5 p.m. EU time, 9 a.m. Pacific time. For the uh, SIG security self-assessment projects, we are always looking for threat modelers. So if you're interested in threat modeling or learning how to threat model, go holler at them. And for the SIG security docs subproject, they are looking for contributors for a couple of things. They want the con contributors for the RBAC tutorial and um, the, the security hardening guide. So if you are interested in doing uh, security documentation or learning more about security in order to do security documentation, come holler at SIG Security Docs. We are 100% new contributor friendly. All skill levels welcome from the newest newbie to the burliest graybeard. So um, come holler at SIG Security anytime. Thank you very much. Hi. <laughs> I'm Kaslin Fields, and I'm one of the co-chairs of the Special Interest Group for Contributor Experience, and I'm also a co-lead of our sub-project uh, for contributor communications. Um, so the Contributor Comms uh, group is a great place for net new contributors. Um, in particular, we have a SIG Spotlight blog project, um, which is always available because there are so many SIGs within Kubernetes that we always have SIGs to uh, do blog posts about. This is really great for brand new contributors because it's an opportunity for them to interview the leads of a SIG and then write up a blog post about what they learned about the SIG. So it means for new folks that they get to explore the project, learn about how the community works, and actively contribute and get recognition all at the same time. So great place for new contributors there. Um, we meet weekly, and we are also active on our Slack channel, which is SIG Contribex comms in Slack. A couple other areas where we could use some help. Um, the contributor site is written in Hugo, and if you are familiar with Hugo, we could really use some help there. Um, or if you know anyone who is familiar with Hugo, please let us know. We'll have a working session usually um, here at the Contributor Summit where we uh, hack on the contributor site a little bit, but we could really use more help there. 
Also, some automation that we have going on. Um, we use Zapier to do a lot of automation moving our Zoom meetings into YouTube. We also use it for a number of communication, social media use cases. So if you're interested in those uh, as well, that would be great. Um, and social media. If you are into so social media and you want to help us communicate with contributors through social media, we could use your input there as well. Thank you.